do you know how to administer CPR? That knowledge is extremely important as we are seeing medical experts saying the urgency of those staff members on the field who did that CPR in Hamlin and used the heart defibrillator. They're why he's still alive. Doctors say CPR is something every one of us can learn to do. If you look at the data, uh, if somebody uh, in the community has a sudden cardiac arrest, which is what this was, 90% um, of victims actually succumb to this. And um, in that situation, each minute reduces your chance of survival by about 10%. So the speed at which somebody gets um, something basic, right, CPR, which is something that all of us can do, all of us can be part of the chain of survival. And just the, the performance of CPR alone significantly improves the odds that someone will survive. And so on that note, we'll mention there are local resources if you want to learn CPR or maybe just get a refresher because remember the CPR protocols have changed over the years. In Mecklenburg County, Atrium Health, Novant and Medic have actually collaborated for this um, program. It's called Keep the Beat. It is a free program as you can see here. It offers CPR to groups though. So this would be families, organizations. You just have to get a group together of 15 people to get that class, then you would email them and get that set up. We should note that this is hands only CPR training, so this is not a certification course. We also know that the YMCA of Greater Charlotte has CPR certification courses. It says you have to fill out a form expressing your interest in getting that class. Then you have to select your closest branch and then you can do that through the website, possibly getting scheduled up for a class within two weeks. Several American Red Cross locations also with some classes across our area. Um, they've got CPR certification programs. Some do require completion of online classes beforehand. We checked the schedule. We saw several upcoming classes on the calendar too. So just check with your local Red Cross location to get those details. We've got this information. If you'd like to see it all together on our website, wcnc.com, you can also find it inside our WCNC Charlotte mobile app.